this is one of the quadrants that we've been monitoring since our last visit, isn't yes. it? So what's, what's coming up at the moment? Well, we've got plenty of very, very tiny ground ivy plants coming up. And I know from previous years that in a couple of months' time there's to be a sea of purple flowers. But then they die off. Right. And you get wood sage popping up over and above the ground ivy. It grows quite a lot taller than the ground ivy. Now we collected wood sage seeds yes, last time we, we were here. Yes, I have some in here. So do you reckon this is a good place to, to try out some planting? Well, we know it grows here, and we also know that we have small balsam here. Right, that's the, the invader, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, and we're hoping to pull those up as they come along to give the wood sage and other plants a chance to provide more ground cover and hopefully be better able to compete with the, with the um, alien small balsam. Right. But we are going to try and keep a lid on that plant and keep pulling it up as it comes. So hopefully planting some of this might help to keep it down. It should do in theory, but I have found that it can, it even grows above bracken. There's some bracken up there and I was astonished to see that the small balsam can actually grow quite big and poke its head above. Not so small balsam. No, <laughs> no, but I think if we, if we can get these growing and keep the small balsam out, Okay, I mean, I've got some seed husks, but lots of seeds in here. I think it's virtually impossible to separate them from the husks. And we've scarified the soil. We have, yes. So what, just scatter them in? Ah, yes, because that's what would normally happen in nature. Yeah. So, so we do exactly the same thing. So we're actually planting a sort of mixture of seeds and husks. Okay. And that's a good thing, because that's what we So they, how would these seeds normally be distributed then? Would they just drop out drop out of the, the plant? As or? far as I can tell, yes, because you've just found some on an old yeah. on an old flower spike. And it looks that looks as if most of them are still there anyway. Yeah. So I think we are actually doing pretty much the same as the plant would anyway. It's just that we're planting a few more. Okay. Than we would otherwise be here. Anything to see off a small balsam? Yes. So they should start to sprout when? I I really don't know. I would say if we could get some rain and more mm. of this warm weather, it should be maybe three or four weeks. Great. Can you come back and have a look so. for us? Well, yes, I'm here every day working. I come out here at lunchtime, so I can keep an eye on it. We'll take a photo and stick it on the blog. I will us. indeed, yes. Good. As a sort of backup, I'm also going to plant some of these seeds in the seed tray at home. Right. I'm taking a bit of the soil home. And so if this doesn't work, we should have some seedlings that when they grow into a sort of reasonable size, the plug plants, we can just pop them. Okay, and that'll be more controlled in terms of the amount it of will water be, you it can It will give be, them the yes, phase, it will yeah. be much more controlled. It will give them a head start. I know it's not totally natural, but we might we might have to do that. This isn't successful. Whatever it takes. Yes. <laughs>